Hate crimes against Asian Americans have increased drastically since 2020. One Asian sorority at Purdue is making sure they're prepared if anything were to happen to them. I talked with a member about how they felt the need to protect themselves. You're watching the Purdue Alpha Kappa Delta Phi sorority take a self-defense class, something they felt was necessary with the increase in hate crimes against Asian Americans. I definitely have like an action plan that I can take if it is something that happens. According to the group Stop AAPI Hate, 6,603 hate incidents against Asian Americans and Pacific Islanders took place between March 2020 and March 2021. 65 percent of those reported were against Asian American women. Just imagining the fact that I could have been, that could be me like in that situation or that could be like my parents or my grandma in that situation is like so terrifying. And the Purdue Alpha Kappa Delta Phi sorority isn't the only Asian group taking their safety into their own hands. Stand Strong, the nonprofit and self-defense class the sorority took, says it has seen an increase in Asian Americans looking to protect themselves. We definitely see this the increase and we also definitely see the value of participating in our sessions and, and they feel, you know, uh, more safe and empowered after that. President Biden signed the COVID-19 Hate Crimes Act into law on Thursday. It aims to expand the federal government's efforts to address the rise in hate crimes against Asian Americans. Rachel says seeing the government take action gives her hope for the future. It's just really nice to hear. It makes me feel like a little bit more secure that we're like actually making actions and like making uh, moves to get better. The COVID-19 Hate Crimes Act directs the Justice Department to speed up the review of a hate crime and expands public education campaigns to boost awareness and outreach to hate crime victims.